1.20 new updated blocks. Let's have a play. Let's see what we can build. First of all, what do you think about these little garden swings using the new hanging signs? Let's build one out of cherry. So get a chain, hang a cherry sign down. Next, what we want to do is put on a little trapdoor underneath and then hang some more trapdoors like this. Let's move you out the way. Didn't need that one at the bottom. And then one, two. And then we need, did I just drop my cherry? There we go, cherry, cherry, cherry. And that is your swing complete, like that. There we go, perfect. We could put on a back as well. And a little cushion for rest in the form of a carpet. And there we go, a hanging chair swing as well. Absolutely love that. Cherry, bamboo, even spruce, whatever you like hang your chairs here is a little bench this one is very simple to build and it uses a decorated pot so let's make one slightly smaller so we're going to go for some trapdoors right here and then some trapdoors facing that way you can place trapdoors right on top of the decorated pots and for an option why not do that you've got a place to sit in the park super easy decorated pot are i think a wonderful addition to the game here we've got a little tree so you can place uh, fence posts onto these and I thought maybe you could have different colored fence posts here spruce and oak and then you could stick yourself on one two three four five six little bushes and leaves like that you've got yourself a very modern looking little planter indeed this one's a bit more of an extensive tree with a swing hanging down Another bench here. To do this, you're going to need to place a block and a block and then an oak hanging sign facing, hmm, not in that direction, but facing in that direction and then that direction. That's how these things work. And then you can just place your trap doors on top. Very, very quick, very effective and a good looking bench. What else can you do with decorated pots? Well, did you know you can put pressure plates onto these pots? And I think if you're decorating uh, an area and you want some pots scattered about, to make them look a little bit more varied, you can actually put things like moss carpet, pressure plates, and I guess you could put carpet on as well. I haven't actually tried this, but looks like this is going to work right yeah you can put carpet on these as well absolutely fantastic so you can add a little color to your build and i wonder if we could make another bench using carpet as well what if we did this inventing on the fly i wasn't expecting to do that but there you go you've got a little carpet bench would that work or maybe this could be a shelf unit i wonder if we can do that this could actually be turning out to be a pretty cool little shelving unit not too bad little bits of gaps there but the top one could be like that actually it turns out pretty nicely so play about with decorated pots is what we're saying you can put trapdoors on them as well it looks like you're kind of opening and shutting the um, decorated pot you can put torches sea pickles lanterns Obviously, you could put end rods, lightning rods. You could put your favorite uh, head of your enemy that you've slaughtered. And this is good. I think this is great. You could put armor stands on and they look fantastic. So you can display your best set of armor as well. And then torch flowers look good. But obviously, you need to put a, a flower pot onto these first of all. And then you can start to put flowers into them as well decorated pots the nonsense doesn't stop there what about using them as columns just to hold up your builds in this case we put walls on them as well and the wall kind of um yeah you get the top of the pot sticking out like that but as soon as you put a ceiling on it it just looks like it is normally connected as well aren't these great i love it decorated pots my favorite new block in minecraft you can hang them from chains and it looks connected as well uh love that sticking in some bamboo so get a pot 
stick in your bamboo and then put on some cherry leaves on top you need to just do this and then you've got your cherry leaves on top talking of cherry wood obviously you can make furniture with these just as normal but we thought Sarasvin thought it looks quite good in a desert maybe a western type feel the cherry wood uh, really reacts nicely with the smooth red sandstone i think that looks very very effective have you noticed this block here this is the chiseled bookshelf it actually looks great as a type of floor pretty expensive floor but if you've got a fancy room or maybe a fancy ceiling then chiseled bookshelf looks great as a floor uh, and in the ceiling as well and of course obviously as a pretty smart bookcase as well moving on um, what about using these as a door frame as well you could even just make it a bit of a curve like that you've got actually a pretty good looking door made of the bookcases I absolutely love that would look great in a wizard's house perhaps this one's pretty cool you can actually squish in some armor stands close to the new hanging signs so this one works in a pretty straightforward way what you need to do first of all is get your hanging sign and hang it down something a bit like that I was crouched so let's start not crouching like that so there we go hanging sign hanging down get rid of that block um, no I know you do it like this you do it like that we can actually edit this to say sail right at the bottom like that grab your armor stands they go either side I'm going to need uh, some pistons to push them in uh, blocks of redstone break the pistons first then the redstone and you can stick on your armor that. Oh, do we need two bits before we need two bits and I'm also going to grab a spruce trapdoor as if we had a wall at the back here you could put your little spruce trapdoor or this one as it turns out right there and of course what you want to do is knock away these and let your armor stands fall down and then you can put on your chest plates and if you're right on the bottom level you can see your writing so we've got a little sail there of our armor stands looking really nice butted right up against the hanging sign i think there's a lot more we could probably do with armor stands interacting with these hanging signs i wonder what happens if we push these even further nothing much that's as far as in as you can push them so that's that's quite interesting over here um you've got obviously fence gates oak fence gates but why not use these as well the hanging signs actually make a good looking barrier so as long as you have a block there you can place as many of these as you want in a line if you haven't got a block there you would need one here if you haven't got anything either side it just actually won't place so you do need a block to attach it to to begin with sneaky one over here with these beautiful new pink petals um i think if you're making a path pink petals if you face that way you can actually get them to border the path really closely as well and i think that looks rather smart having these really gather around your path and then why not stick them into a little planter like that very 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 cool indeed moving on uh what have we got um this roof idea came from pixel riffs i was watching one of his streams and he was building a little fisher person's house and he said yes blocks of bamboo make for good roofing especially if you actually start to add in some moss block as well this is very very clever Kind of an advanced building technique make a very organic looking roof let's grab some monus bilis yeah pretty good an overgrown roof very very simple pretty cheap as well this moss and blocks of bamboo onto some more of our kind of three kind of i don't know slightly not good ideas here i don't know what do you think this is i don't know we don't know is it a divider is it a door is it a portcullis some sort of room divider you can stack up these spruce hanging signs any hanging signs um without any world edit at all 
what do you think this is? We don't, we're not sure. What would you use it for? And this is another kind of weakish design I came up with for a window. Does it look any good? Does it look rubbish? Maybe. This one's possibly better using these simply as a window blind. You've got your window shutters on the outside, but why not have a window blind as well? There's shut shutters and the window blinds. I think that looks pretty cool. And if you go absolutely crazy with your bamboo like Dreadspine has over here, you've made a, a sniffer um, stables here with hanging bamboo signs, bamboo fence, bamboo flooring as well. Are they happy in there? Hard to tell from that face. Sarasvan's gone a little bit crazy here and look at this beautiful, beautiful window with the accented colors of the cherry going really nicely with, um, with granite as well. So how to do this? It's very, very easy indeed. So these are your cherry fences going up there like that from the pot. And then we've got trap door there. We could do one there, but I think it looks much better if you go down one in between like that and then pop that one on top and it kind of joins up really really pleasingly like that as well so nice job from Sarasvin on that and there you go 20 initial ideas hopefully we'll come up with a lot more ways of using 1.20 blocks what ideas have you come up with independently do uh, send me pictures you can join my youtube channel as a member and get access to my discord or you can become a patreon check out my website andyisyoda.com for downloads and merch as well and i will see you next time ciao ciao the blocks be with you